What's up, people? It's your boy Slide. In this video, I'm going to talk about survival mode. If you don't understand that we are in survival mode, then you're pretty much going to fail in life. Living in the United States today, it's every man for himself. I already told you guys how things work. No one tells you anything. And some people, by the time they realize how life really works, it's too late. Some are in their 40s, some have massive debt, and they're pretty much stuck, you know? So this is what you have to understand, okay? It's every man for himself. Like, most people, if they fall on hard times, it's kind of like, you know, they're on their own, you know? Like, I've, I, I, I had some friends of mine. Very cool, very cordial, you know, but fortunately, we don't talk anymore. Most of them, well, most of my friends and I, we don't talk anymore. And like I told you guys before, we did not end on a bad note. It's just that they don't keep in contact. You know, so that's, that's just the way it is. So now it's like you find yourself in a tight situation because if you are trying to do something, you can't start a company by yourself. It's impossible. I mean, you can, but it's going to be way harder, you know? And, you know, if you don't have networks, you cannot find a decent paying job. It's just not going to happen. People don't listen to this part. People here are so disillusioned by the job searches. They think, I just have to uh, apply for the job and they'll call me. So they wait for weeks, in some cases months. They wait for their phone to go off, for someone to call them. They just wait. Before you know it, nobody calls them. Or they do call them, they go for one or two interviews and they don't get the job. Because at the end of the day, if you don't know the right people, they're not messing with you. People can argue this point all they want. It's just not going to happen. When I say a decent paying job, I mean a job that will a job that will pretty much give you the amount of money you're looking for. Okay? A job that will give you a decent quality of life. So it all depends on what you're really looking for, you know? Every man for himself, you know? And this is part of the reason why I get upset because I know how things work, but no one, but no one listens to me. They look at me as if I'm, they look at me as if I'm talking nonsense. I don't know what I'm doing, blah, blah, blah. And that's fine. But I can tell you guys right now, nobody cares about the things you've done. Okay. They only care about things you are doing. If you're not successful, people don't want to be around you. And this is the and this is what's going on in America today. There are so many people today who can never tell you what they do for a living because they are ashamed. But in my situation, or at least in the way I see it, you shouldn't be ashamed of doing a job that gives you a decent salary. Every single person has done jobs they did not like at one point in their life. You know, like one of my friends was telling me a story one time that he knew a guy who was a janitor. You know, he was a janitor while he was going to pharmacy school. You know, he, he as time went on, he became a pharmacist. So, I mean, people are doing jobs they don't like just to get ahead, and that's normal. Some people out there have worked jobs, 
Some people work two jobs that they, that they did not like, but they saved their money to start their own company. That's the way it is. So if you want to get ahead, you have to make sacrifices. So a lot of people don't want to do that. They just think, oh, I want a company to pay me um, 90,000. I want a company to pay me $90,000 a year. I'm like, okay, do you have the skills that a company will pay you that much money? No, they don't. Many Americans don't have the skill set to be paid $90,000 a year, but they apply for those jobs as if they are entitled to those type of jobs. And they get a, then they get a, then they get a wake up call like, oh shit, I'm not that valuable. So this is why a lot of people you meet today are frustrated. They're annoyed. And people here can make all these um, dumb arguments that immigrants are taking their jobs, uh, blah, blah. But let me tell you something, all that stuff is irrelevant. To me, I don't, I don't even want to hear that nonsense. I'm trying to figure out how to make it in America. I don't give a damn about how other people are taking jobs that most Americans don't want in the first place. There are so many jobs out here that Americans have so much pride in not doing. Like, you gotta be kidding me. There are so many Americans today who do not want to do a blue a color jobs. They refuse to do this. They refuse to do that because they feel it's, it's beneath them. Some Americans today think it's beneath them to be a janitor or to be a fast food worker. They think it's beneath them. So they won't take, so they won't take those jobs. They won't take them. But yet they want to complain when like foreigners take those jobs. This is the reason why people do not take Americans seriously at all. But I'm not here to discuss that topic. The only thing I want to say is that if you're not successful, people are not going to be around you. I mean, people don't really know this, but the number one reason for all breakups in America is due to finances. Okay? Because of money. And in most cases, it's never having too much money. It's always about lack of money. The thing people don't understand is that when you enter into a relationship with somebody, it's about having a decent quality of life. So if one person is stable and the other person is not stable, guess what? The person who is stable is going to find someone else who is stable financially. People don't get this. There are some cases out there where women make more than, you know, their counterparts or their partners. Then they say to themselves, you know what? I'm tired of paying for this guy's bills. I'm going to find someone. I'm going to find somebody who is on my level. It happens all the time. This is why marriages don't work out most of the time. You have um, two people. Let's say, let's say, for example, you have a poor couple together, right? You have a poor couple. Guess what happens? Even though she supports her partner, she's looking for another guy that will, that will upgrade her class. That will upgrade her social class. It's called hypergamy. In some other terms, it's called monkey branching. This is why most of the time, if a person is not financially stable, it does not work out. Because the last thing a person wants to be concerned is about the bills not being paid. That's the last thing somebody wants to hear. Nobody wants to hear... I can't pay my rent this month. Who wants to hear that crap? If it happens once, it's like, okay, we got you. We understand. Times, times are tough. But when that happens four times within a year, that's a red flag. And when you tell people, oh, oh, my girl left me. Do you think people want to hear that crap? They're, they're, they are literally going to say, well, you had no job stability. What the hell do you expect? 
People don't understand these things. People say, um, people just don't understand. It's every man for himself. Nobody wants to hear about how you're struggling. They want to hear about things you are doing. People don't get it. Every man for himself. You can't find a job. Okay? Your friends don't want to hear that crap. Your friends do not want to hear about how you cannot find a job. They don't want to hear it. Because in their eyes, it's not their problem. In some cases, the job market is tough. But they don't want to hear about how you can't pay the rent. They don't want to hear that crap. Do you not see what I mean when I say it's every man for himself? No one cares. No, nobody wants to hear about how life did you wrong and blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares anymore, bro. <laughs> like, seriously, no one cares. And I, that's why I'm trying to let you guys know that if you don't understand how things work, you are going to find yourself in a tight situation. There are so many people who show their frustration through the customer service, it's, it's crazy. How many people have you seen, at least online, how many people have you seen, like, let, let me rephrase that. How many angry employees have you seen online? I bet you at least every month, at least two or three new videos pop up at these low-end jobs where a customer is fighting an employee or employees fighting a customer or two employees are fighting each other or I'm better or better yet two customers fighting each other usually at these low-end establishments how many fast food clips have I seen where people are just arguing verbally um assaulting each other you know yeah, it's all the time. So, I mean, if people don't understand this, you are going to find yourself in a tight situation. We are in survival mode. And if you don't understand how to survive in today's society, you are going to be at the bottom. No one wants to hear about why life is so hard. Nobody wants to hear about what happened. They want to be around positive people. People don't understand. Like in my age, currently in my age, I'm in my early 30s right now, okay? When I talk to people, we're not talking about he say, she say. We ain't doing all that. We're talking about things you've accomplished, things you've done with your life. That's only we're talking about. That's the only thing we're talking about. Anything else will fall on the wayside. I've met people, I've met people older than me. They don't talk about negative stuff. Even though some of them have gone through, some of them have had some issues, you know, in their time. They don't, they don't discuss it. They don't even talk about it. Because if you discuss negative topics around people, people are going to avoid you. They don't want to be around you. They don't even want to, they don't even want to be, they don't want to hear that stuff. Okay. They want to be around positive people. That's the way it is. So this, this is the life we live in today. If you don't understand how things work, you're going to be at the bottom. Anyhow, let me know what you think. Peace.